It is day two in the Hunter Valley and we are going back to Coco Nib for morning tea because it was amazing. We're going to go to the smokehouse. But first, we're at the information center again because I really want to find a great Moscato. So let's get this day started. Lisa gave us some fantastic inside goss on where there's great Moscato. So now we're just looking at our map and planning it out and looking forward to a great day. So today we decided to actually try some wine. So first stop is Ernest Wines. Ernest Hill Wines. So we're gonna try their Moscato and check it out. It's beautiful so far. Yep. You've got a bit of a chocolate base for our food. This is your little glass. Get some nice food. Whoa. Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That should be on Medicare by my prescription. <laughs> Perfect, I've got that at the yeah, moment. Go. Done. And um, does the pharmacist approve? Approve. <laughs> Excellent. Done. Drink up. You can see Stephanie down there today. Just tell her Leslie sent you. Coco Nip. So we're back again for morning tea and then we're going to go to the Tullock Wines to try their Verscato that I had yesterday at Harrigan's and it was really, really nice. So we've come back um, and we're going to try the wine and hopefully buy some as well. It's coming, Coco. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Thank you. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You can smell it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, look at all the marshmallows. So nice. <laughs> oh, yes, I needed coffee. Oh, we thought that Tullock Wines was the Keith Tullock Wines, but it's actually two separate places. We made a bit of a fool of ourselves going in there. I found cows, so we had to stop. Sweetie, sweetie, nice. can I go on the swing set? Can I go on the swing set? Can I? Can if I? If you want. Yes! There we go. Beer. Excellent. And some preference. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Can I just stay here all day and keep drinking? Is that alright? Hey, so we've got some great sauce. What do you think? Quite nice, actually. Mm. Oh, yum. 
Yeah. Oh, that's really good. To me, that's like, yeah, like, I use that as a quince paste. Cheese and biggie on that. Put a cheese on you the know what it tastes like? Probably not doing it justice. <laughs> but the barbecue sauce that you get with KFC nuggets. <laughs> I know that's so specific, <laughs> but that's what it tastes like. <laughs> it's so good. So, yeah, it's quite, it's Yum. Busy. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, use it as a marinade. Too. Mm. Oh, absolutely. And you don't miss yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. We just went into more bank wines and they had this spicy grape sauce and amazing Moscato. And they had so much produce from the local area inside the cellar door as well. And it was really, really good. And she was so friendly. So on to the next spot. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go on a swing set at a winery. So I'm going. Yeah. just arrived to the Lovedale Smokehouse and I'm really excited for it for prosciutto and I used to get this dried fish snack in Cambodia and I've just been craving it ever since so I've been craving this fish snack for like three years so if they have anything close to it I'm buying it straight away so I'm excited for this place let's head on in and see what goodies they have it smells so good in here. Oh my gosh, look at this fridge. And I've found, we've found the prosciutto. And smoked cheese. I forgot about the cheese. We have found smoked cheese. Oh wow. That looks incredible. Wow. Got a bit of everything here. Yeah, you. I'm watching you. gonna try the Moscato because it was delicious yesterday. Yep. Yep, that's what I want. That is so good. It's beautiful out here. Oh wow, it's beautiful out here. to our last wine destination at Savannah Wines and we've been told that they have excellent Moscato so let's end this Moscato adventure on a high. We're going to try the Zabibo wine which is very similar to the Moscato but quite unique to Savannah Estate so. We call that one grape juice on steroids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be what she is. Oh, well, that's really good. We haven't had enough chocolate today, so we're heading on into the Hunter Valley Chocolate Factory just to get some little goodies for the road trip home. <laughs> Curtis just asked if they do have shopping baskets because this place is massive. And yes, they do. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. <gasps> Yum. Oh my gosh. Oh, really good. They have absolutely everything in here. Oh my gosh. We're like kids literally in a candy store. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this place. We've heard so much good stuff about Sabor Dessert House. So let's go in and finish this day off. Oh my God, we just made it. 
Quick! I need just uh, quick, quick, quick! All to try something from this cabinet but look at this view <laughs> oh my god babe wow is that just like Nutella. a whole heap of Nutella on the side just the right amount of oh what it is. my goodness even the froth is amazing. Oh my lordy. I feel like I should be rolling down this hill after that. Oh man, that was amazing. The sun at the moment is beautiful all along these vineyards and there's cows down here. So got to go check them out. But this afternoon's sun is incredible. It's beautiful. We have had an incredible two days in the Hunter Valley. If you're a foodie, this is the place to be. There is something for everyone here. All the roads recently got done up, so Curtis and I remember coming here as kids and the roads weren't fantastic. They've all recently been redone, so it makes the whole drive just so lovely. And we only used quarter of a tank of petrol on two days of driving around everything is really easily accessible it's all quite close together everything is really well signposted as well so you're not going to get lost ask the locals about their best suggestions because that was our experience in finding the best little places around i cannot wait to come back next time and this trip has been a fantastic example of exploring our own backyard and that you don't have to travel far and wide if travel is important to you just make it a priority in your daily life remember don't call it a dream call it a plan happy travels